Yo, this is Gibbon and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I've got you a really good one that's going to help you improve at World War 2 multiplayer. This is going to be the top 5 best basic trainings in World War 2 multiplayer. So this is it's going to help you get a lot more kills. It's going to help you just get better in general as a player. So let's get right into this. Coming at the number 1 spot for the best basic training in World War 2, I'm going with Primed. Now Primed... Um, it gives you the ability to have an extra attachment, so that's really good. It means you can put on an extra attachment, which is just going to make your gun even more overpowered. So that could be a rapid fire added on, that could be a grip added on, that could be a sight. Whatever your choice, it's just going to make you feel more comfortable. You're going to be able to get more kills, and you're going to be able to rank up faster when you're getting more kills. And it's just going to be lit. You're going to improve so much. And then as well as that, to make it really overpowered, if that wasn't overpowered enough, then you can have reduced flinch. So reduced flinch in general, that is... It's, um, in the past couple cards there hasn't been a, it's called toughness, so it's a perk when, when you get shot you don't flinch, so you don't, so you're shooting someone, they shoot you and you flinch. When you use this, that's reduced, so your accuracy is going to be a lot better, you're going to be hitting your shots, you're going to be getting more kills, it's going to be easy to do challenges, go on streaks, and it's just going to minimise the bullshit in the game because there is a lot of it, and just that can factor out the view kick as um, getting you killed, so that's really good. And then to make it really overpowered, you can pair that up with the infantry division. Now, with that, when you get when you level that up, you can have the ability to have an extra attachment. So you can have an extra attachment if you put primed on. That means you can have a total of four attachments on your gun, and you can just make the most overpowered gun. So I'm going to have a video on that very shortly. You can make some guns extremely overpowered on World War Two using that, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a really good video. So coming in at number two for the best, the second best basic training, I'm going with Inconspicuous. Now this one, it makes you sound quieter, your movements sound quieter. So obviously the sound, the sound horroring in, in World War Two is so, so good. The footsteps are so loud. You can genuinely hear people like halfway across the map, and it's, I actually find it really, um, off putting because you'll walk past a teammate and you'll just get so anxious you'll think there's a uh, an enemy right next to you but it'll just be a teammate so it kind of i don't really like it but if you put dead silence on then you can hear people even better and then they can't hear you that's the main thing they can't hear you so you can flank up on them get the nice three pieces four pieces and just get close to those nukes and unlock cameras because if you think about it if they can't hear you you can easily just walk up behind people line up headshots there's free camos right there. So that is a really good one in my opinion. Coming in at the number three spot, I'm going with Scoped. Now Scope is like Stalker Pro from MW3 Ghost. It's gonna allow you to aim faster while aiming down sight. It's like Stock from Black Ops 3, if that's the last card you played, or Infinite Warfare. It's um, a really good uh, basic training in my opinion because obviously you, there's a lot of corners in World War II. So you can be pre-aiming these corners, killing the campers. You can also pre-aim head glitches. It's just you need to be pre-aiming on a boots in the ground game because there's just you don't know where people are going to be. So the more you've got your sights up, the more kills you, the more ready you're going to be. So if you're just pre-aiming around corners, if there's someone sprinting around there, you're 100% going to get the kills. And I know when you don't have stock, that is just painful to do. You move at like a snail's pace around those corners when you're ADS. So it's just like, really, it makes the game really boring. But if you put this primed on, it's going to allow you to walk fast. It's called scoped, sorry. If you put scoped on, it's going to allow you to aim faster around those corners. So it's going to feel more comfortable and it's just going to be a hell of a lot better for you than doing it without it. So coming in at the number four, I'm going to go with flanker. Now with flanker, it's a lot like Ghost from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2. When you move in, when you're sprinting, it means that you don't show up on the enemy UAV, which is so overpowered. So UAVs are really good this year because most most people like because you can only have one basic training. A lot of people just pick a random one, like they don't really think. So if you're one of those people that chooses flanker. They're, they're, you're just going to really throw the enemy team off because they're not going to know where you are when they call in a UAV. So you can flank them, as I said again, and you're just going to be unstoppable when you're on your streets because they won't be able to find you. If you pair that up with the airborne division, then you're going to be just off the radar. You're going to be a complete ninja and you're not going to die. And that's the really good thing that I like about this new World War II. You can really pair these basic trainings up with the division to just get a really overpowered outcome. So airborne, you can put the silencer on your gun and then with that, with flanker, you're off the radar from UAVs. So you just, they can't even find you. Like that is insane. So definitely give that pair a go. Probably make a class setup on that, like ninja class setup. 
But yeah, going into the next at the number five spot, I'm going with Forage. Now, Forage allows you to resupply ammo, so it's like a scavenger from the older Call of Duty. So if you're one of those people that likes pub stomping, going for the vicious medals, going for the high kill gameplays, you want to keep your gun with your OP attachments on. So you don't want to be picking up guns off the floor. Um, this is just going to allow you to pick up ammo constantly from dead bodies, which is really good. It's going to allow you to just stay alive in those streaks. And it also allows you to switch weapons faster. So if you're like, if you run out of ammo, you get a triple kill, then you can switch to your pistol really fast, switch to a secondary that picks up off the floor really fast, and then get those kills. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Tell me whether you disagree with this top five. Put what you think down in the um, comment section down below. Also, if you did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for daily World War 2 content that's going to make you a better player. It's been the Gibbonator, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.